Proton Drive is a new cloud storage platform. Should you get it? This is the Proton Drive review. So let's get started. So it has pros and cons and we'll go through the good ones first. Proton Drive is end-to-end -end encrypted. We see this feature in fewer services. End-to-end -end ensures that no one, even the company itself, can read your files. Proton Drive is a Swiss company and even though it wasn't end-to-end -end encrypted, Swiss laws are tough in keeping customers' data. Secondly, Proton Drive has amazing file sharing tools. First, it supports end-to-end -end file sharing. Second, it has a couple of free sharing features that we find in the paid plans of most apps. You can set passwords for shared files and you can set expiry dates for those links. Another feature here is to stop sharing files which deactivates the link completely. Furthermore, you can track the total number of times a file has been downloaded. One thing I missed was adding people's email so they can get a notification. But those two features pretty much cover that. With a Proton Drive account, you enjoy the Proton Mail account, which is also end-to-end -end encrypted and does not display third-party apps. Moreover, with this account, you can access your Proton calendar, which has many benefits. Lastly, Proton offers a free VPN, but you will need to sign up for that separately, at least for now. Alright, it supports quite many formats. It does not support collaboration and file editing, which we will come back in a second but it supports many image and video formats to quickly view a file without downloading it. Another feature of Proton Drive or I should say Proton Mail is that you can bring your own domain and create an email address. This feature is in the premium plan but if we compare other apps, Proton Drive is cost effective because in this plan you get VPN, domain email and storage. The last great feature I found is that it has many themes. I like this dark theme to be specific. There aren't many online storage providers that offer dark themes, but if you like dark themes, this drive can be a new addition. Let's talk about some disadvantages of Proton Drive. The first one is that you only get 1GB of storage. We can score up to 1GB more, but you will need to do a few things to get it. Even after that, we only get 2GB of storage, which is enough for private files, but not enough for all of your files. Second, if you share and collaborate on documents, Proton Drive may not be the best choice. You'll need to download the file first and edit it using a program on your PC or mobile. Only a handful of platforms support collaboration and unfortunately, Proton Drive is not one of them. Lastly, compared to some other drives, Proton Drive is expensive. Also, its premium plans come with the VPN, calendar, and mail options which will be useless if you just want cloud storage. An option to customize plans to increase storage or reduce cost would have been nice. Okay with that being said, should you get it? I mean if you have some private files, you can store them on Proton Drive. The end-to-end -end nature makes it a strong program. However, if privacy matters a tiny bit less and the cost matters a bit more for you, you have other solutions. Lastly, if you want VPN, end-to-end -end encrypted mail and cloud storage, you must try Proton VPN. With all its options, it's more cost effective than using different services for different needs. Anyway, this is it for this video. Please let me know what you think of Proton Drive in the comments and thumbs up for the support. I'll catch you later. Take care.